everyone let us discuss today about equivalent circuit of a transformer so let us understand what is equivalent circuit of a transformer equivalent circuit here the term equivalent circuit of a particular machine or a transformer it means that the combination of fixed and variable resistances and reactances now here when we consider no load equivalent circuit the actual transformer is replaced by an ideal transformer with resistance r not and an inductive reactance x not parallel with its primary circuit so here r not represents the core losses it represents the core loss and iw which supplies the core loss so we can say that iw square r not is core loss of the actual transformer similarly the inductive reactance x not which takes a reactive current that is your i mu of an actual transformer so let us understand what is an importance of equivalent circuit how exactly equivalent circuit is drawn so let us consider the initially no load current i not so as we discussed now r not with actual current i w and component x not the current which is supplied is i mu here the voltage across is v1 and the current is i not so this is connected to the primary side of a transformer along with the secondary and the secondary has v2 and e2 e1 so this is an ideal transformer so from the above equivalent circuit we can see that v1 is equal to iw into r not r it can be written as r not is equal to v1 by iw similarly from the circuit we can write that x not is equal to v1 by i mu so here i not is equal to i mu plus i w that is both the currents so core losses i w square into r not can be rewritten as v1 square into r not this can also be replaced r can be shown as v1 square into r1 now how to derive equivalent circuit of a transformer now let us consider all the parameters are the complete circuit module of a real transformer so in a real transformer we have as usual the voltage v1 supplied across then we have r1 and x1 along with the parameters r0 x0 the current iw and i mu this is your r1 x1 and i1 along with your primary e1 and here let us consider i2 dash so we know i2 dash is equal to i2 into k and secondary it has r2 x2 along with the load and it is considered as the del so this is your e2 this is your r2 this is your x2 the current i2 now this diagram shows the complete equivalent circuit of a transformer now how an exact equivalent circuit referred to primary can be derived in order to derive or to transfer with respect to primary we remember we need to first transfer all the quantities from the secondary side to the primary side so let us consider initially the quantities resistance r2 x2 and z2 in the secondary now in order to transfer this we have to remember the formula if at all i need to transfer 
R2 to the primary, it will be represented as R2 dash. So R2 dash is equal to R2 by k square R. We can be it can be rewritten as R2 is equal to R2 dash into k square. That means all your resistances also reactances are considered as k square and the new factor. Similarly, ZL dash is equal to ZL by k square. Now, first parameter, all your secondary resistances and reactances as we saw are reflected to the primary as square that is your k square. Please remember this in the transformer ratio. The second parameter is all your voltages from the secondary to primary as the directly proportional to the product of transformation ratio that is k into v2 dash or in other words we can write e2 dash is equal to e2 by k and v2 dash is equal to v2 by k. So first one as a square of the transformation ratio, second one as the product of the transformation ratio. Third one what parameter is left out? We have left out with the secondary current. So secondary current I2 in the secondary becomes I2 dash by K. That is I2 dash is equal to K into I2 R. In other words, we can say that inversely as the transformation ratio, the primary current as a inversely. So once we get these parameters, how the equivalent circuit is represented, let us understand now. R1. So this is your x1 as usual. Now this is your R0, x0 along with the voltage V1. So this is your R1, x1. This can be represented as Z1, Z1. Now this is your I0, R0, x0 along with other parameters. Now R2 dash x2 dash. Now see the secondary parameters r2 dash and x2 dash it is written along with your primary because we had drawn complete circuit model of a real transformer with respect to primary. So this is how the, it is represented. So this is your v2 dash. So this is your ZL dash. Also current we can represent as i2 dash. So this circuit is called as exact equivalent circuit which is referred to primary. Similarly, all the primary values can be referred to secondary and we can obtain the equivalent circuit with respect to secondary also. So, it is the formulas now it is exactly opposite to the what we have studied now. So, here R1 dash is equal to K square into R1 that means X1 dash is equal to K square into x1 z1 dash is equal to k square into z1 or in other words we can say r1 is equal to r1 dash by k square so here ratio in the other case it was multiplication factor similarly voltages e1 dash is equal to k into e1 and the current i0 or i0 dash is equal to i0 by k. These parameters are exactly reverse to the when we compare with the primary circuit. So, now including these parameters into the exact equivalent circuit will be referred as secondary. Now, what is an approximate equivalent circuit? So, generally just now we have seen exact equivalent circuit with respect to primary and secondary. Now, what is approximate equivalent circuit? To get approximate equivalent circuit, we have to shift the no load branch which is containing R0 and X0 to the left of R1 and X1. But, but by doing this, what is happening? We are creating an error. So, that error is nothing but the drop across R1 and X1 due to the I0 is neglected. So, here even though the error is there, when we convert that, it is called as exact equivalent circuit of an, uh, is also called as approximate equivalent circuit. So only parameter what you have to consider here is, before your I, a component of R1 and X1, we have to consider I0 to drop. So that is called as approximate equivalent circuit. 
So this is all about your equivalent circuit and its uses in a transformer 